I'm here at the Rich Piana booth. What's up everyone? My boy Dave. <laughs> and Rich, everyone keeps asking me, they, they think we're mad at each other because I put out that video that no. where, where I said Rich Piana's wrong about Synthol. <laughs> no, not at all. Dave knows his shit. I'm not going to deny that. I don't want to have a debate with Dave because Dave's a smart motherfucker and me and Dave are never going to knock it along. That's right. We've known each other for too long and the way he came at me, he was respectful and I enjoyed what he did. It was I just voiced awesome. my yeah, yeah. <laughs> Right. Now, what's going on here? What's, what's the theme of uh, the Olympia booth here today? Uh, no theme, just uh, basically killing it, you know, basically just kicking ass. Um, you know, having as much fun as we can. You have the busiest booth in the place. Does that blow your mind? Um, it blows our mind, and I'm not aware of that because I haven't left the booth. It is. It's the busiest. So I have booth. no idea. Yeah, but it's uh, it's amazing. It's awesome. We're having a great time. The fans are awesome, and uh, I love it. I got to ask you a question about social media because right. you're look. You no one denies you got zillions of hits on your on your YouTube channel. Right. But you also got zillions of fucking haters out there. I can't even believe <laughs> this channel's devoted to just fucking <laughs> right, right, killing with you. I mean, just just yeah. putting you down and, and right. ex girlfriends they're putting on, ra on <laughs> right. radio shows. How do you deal with all that crap? You know, it's like I, I can't stand here really and say that I'm like the most popular, but I can say I'm definitely have the most haters. No one out there has more hitters than me, so there you go. <laughs> well, I guess when you have that many guys that love you, there's, they, they have to have the opposite of that. It's like yeah, the superheroes I, and the villains. Right. There's no middle ground with no, me. No. It's either you fucking love me or you fucking hate me. You well, know? They, well, they don't want nothing to do with you. Yeah, right, exactly. And, and how do you deal with it? Do you, do you address the haters or do you kind of ignore them? You know, I, I don't. I don't address, I really don't address anyone, you know, and... I, if I did address people, I would be addressing people. All my videos would be addressing people, right? right? Because there's so many, a lot of content, though. Yeah, that's true. But you know, I, I try to stay positive, and all I want to do is be positive and motivate people. So to go on and you know talk trash about someone, or you know back and forth arguing with someone else, not with you, right. but other people, it just doesn't make any sense to me. Now, last year you got married here, right? Now you're not with the wife anymore, right? Correct. What? what you want to talk about what happened? Um, you know, nothing really happened. I mean, all I can say is, you know, Sarah's an incredible girl. She's a great girl. And, uh, you know, we had, I feel we had an incredible time together. You know, we just are different people. You know, she's a lot younger than I am. And, you know, perhaps the time wasn't right. I don't know. But um, I, I can't say anything bad about her. Does, does your lifestyle and the industry that you're in and how much time that encompasses, did that have anything to do with the breakup? You know, it could because I'm very, very busy. You know, I'm like that too. I know that. My right, wife gets pissed right, off too sometimes. Right. And my life consists of work. You know, 16 hours a day. I'm working all about my ass it, yeah. off. And, you know, she was by my side helping me work. Right. And that's a lot to take on, you know, when you're not used to doing that. My wife does so, that. And we have a baby. Right. You know, so that could be a part of it. You yeah. know, it does. My life is demanding right now. And, um, you know, it's not always going to be. Right. But right now, you know, I my work comes first. You know, work is number one. And I, I work a lot, right. you know, but I enjoy working, you know. Yeah, I know so, you do, I do too, but, right. but you know, sometimes there's, there's like a balance that you gotta right. find, and, and we're a little unbalanced as people, right? Yes, exactly. You know, what we gave to bodybuilding, now we're giving to our yeah. careers, right. you know, which is what I feel a lot of people aren't capable of doing, yeah. you know? So maybe we're extremists and we're going a little too far. Yeah. I think we both went a little too far with the bodybuilding. We probably did. And yeah. now we're still going too far with our careers. But we're still alive. Right. We're still alive. We're still doing well. And the important thing to everyone out there is that we're happy yeah. doing what we do. Yeah. So that's important. You know, if you love what you do, there's nothing better in the world. That's right. All right. Johnny Styles is, is Kimi. What do you want me to ask him? Predictions. What? Predictions for the Olympia. Oh, Johnny wants you. But it's going to be, by the time this goes up, it will be outdated. Who do you think is going to win the Olympia? Um, you know, I, I'm i shooting for Dexter. I'd really like to see Dexter win. Um, right. I would have really liked to see Kevin. Right. You know, and what this is what I anticipated happening, which would have been the most incredible thing, in my opinion, was Dexter winning, Kevin getting second, and Phil Heath getting third. Now, what we would have there is Dexter would win. Next year would be huge because Kevin's going to be the forerunner. And then we have Phil Heath possibly come back to redeem himself. So next year would be exciting as fuck. This year would be exciting because we have a new Mr. Olympia. Just fix it so that we can have all the fucking excitement. That, that's what I say. Yeah. You know, I mean, 
they look do at, it in the WWE. They got storylines. Yeah, right? And look at UFC. Right. I mean, come on. Yeah. Every UFC, it always goes one and one, and they have to have the, the third fight to see who the champ That's is. That's right. And bodybuilding oh. is so subjective anyway. Who would argue? Exactly. This is the number one sport to do that. And, you know, people say it's all about money and bodybuilding. Well, they're not doing that good a job because if they were, you know, they'd be playing that game, you know, which they're not. But I definitely, I feel Dexter, I would like to see Dexter win. I really want to see Kevin win or get second. And Kevin looks fucking amazing. You know, 52 years old. I can't believe it. And you know even better than I do what he's, he's pressing 405 for 10 reps. He's he is a he's a he's just a fucking freak. He couldn't even he did, probably couldn't bench press 10 pounds like six months ago. He's a freak. And like I said, I told Kevin this: if I could sit down with anyone and pick their brain, it would be Kevin. But then after I watched your video, you made a lot of sense that it's really not. He doesn't know what the hell he's doing. Yeah, it's just fucking his genetics, his mind strength. His mentality, you know, he's doing whatever it takes, and he's a freak. You yeah. put those things together, and that's what you got. You know, I, I really don't think it's drugs. No. But you know, back in the in my younger years, that's of course what you I thought. Have thought. Yeah, we would. It's like, oh, this guy, what is he taking? I need to know. Anyone else could do it. They would not get the same. Response. <laughs> right, right. That's the the mentality of a younger generation bodybuilder. All right, take us out with the most muscular pose. Oh, Dave, come on, come on, right I'm into so the camera, right into the camera, always make me right pose. into the camera. That's what we want to see. Let's get Paolo over here too. Where's Paolo? <laughs> Rich, good seeing you, man. Paolo to pose. Yeah, I Paolo's know. the freak. Paolo's the true freak in this booth. Great seeing you again, man. You too, brother.